I just made a video where I decorated an eco lifestyle apartment building and it got me thinking that we could probably make that building with just the base game. Like the exterior of it isn't very complex. I'm referring to this building in Evergreen Harbor. Oh dear. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Okay, well, I suppose it is complex. It goes straight into the void. But I'm talking about this building. And like I said, most of this is actually base game as it is. And this is a pretty realistic shape for an apartment building. And then the idea is that there's four units, you know, two on the top and two on the bottom. But since we don't have apartments in the base game in The Sims 4, you can't really play in them. But you could pretend, like, you could just leave empty units downstairs like this and then have your Sims live up here. Or have, like, two siblings and they each have the top floor apartments or whatever you want to do, but you could totally build this. And so I kind of want to build it for you so that you can use it if you want. It just seems like a fun, like kind of practical gameplay item for you guys. So I'm going to take some screenshots really quickly. <laughs> Please just ignore the void. Don't worry about it. It's totally fine. And then I will leave and try and recreate it. I'm thinking I'll build it in Newcrest. Like this seems like a pretty reasonable place to do it. And I oftentimes will put two starter homes back here. Those are weird cube builds. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'll link Dr. Gluon's video on that down below. We did a little challenge. It was hilarious. But I put like starter homes there usually. And then a couple community lots like a bar and a gym or like a library and sometimes a park here. But I feel like this lot could be a good spot to have the apartment building. We always need more things to fill up Newcrest. Let's be real, right? So I'm not gonna recreate the like exact eco lifestyle one because I'm not gonna say it, but you know what I'm thinking. It's it's ugly, okay? But I'm gonna make it similar, but maybe with a couple more windows. Like I feel like we deserve to have a couple more windows in ours. <laughs> So I might. And maybe we could have some like private balconies in the back and like a neighborhood pool or something like a, a shared pool for the whole complex. I would like that. The lighting on this lot's really weird. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I might make them smaller even. I always want that in EA apartments, like smaller apartments. I don't know how we're gonna split this up yet. I need to think about it. We'll come back to that. <laughs> I'll worry about the floor plan later. I actually really like this fence. I used to hate this fence. Like I used to think it was the ugliest fence in the entire base game, but I've started kind of liking it recently. It's kind of grown on me. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. We have some like small-ish balconies, kind of like that, and they can have a wall in between them just for a little bit of privacy. I think I really intentionally want this to be very simple. Like I'm not trying to make the fanciest looking apartment building. Was theirs on a smaller lot? <laughs> Like, how- why is mine so big? <laughs> I might try and put it on this lot. Now that I think about it, I kind of like this idea of it being smaller. Oh, I think that's better. I know we talked about, like, a community pool, but it's a really small building, okay? Let's be realistic here <laughs> with what we're deciding. Okay, I think I'm gonna just furnish this top left one, but I'm gonna give them all the same floor plan. And then hopefully with that, you could like adjust and then use whatever you wanted to actually play in. Should we do it like that? Those are bigger doors than I was originally picturing. Do you know what the other problem is? The bills on this lot would be very expensive. <laughs> well, not like unattainably expensive, but just in comparison to how cheap your apartment would probably be, they'd be very expensive. So it may be a little bit impractical gameplay wise, but I guess no one's playing in this because they want it to be practical. It's because it's fun. So it's fine. Everything's fine. I don't know what doors I want to use. The problem is that I want them to have white trim, but all the good swatches have gray. <laughs> Do you see the problem I'm facing? This is terrible. Okay, it is at this point that I think we really need to figure out the floor plans because I would like for the windows to look decent on the inside and the outside. And I think we can manage to get some like pretty big windows. I don't know if we should, but we can. Ooh, I think that layout could be nice. It's two bedrooms, one bath. I have the kitchen, a pretty big kitchen actually, like around there. I just want to put some furniture down so I can get kind of like an idea. Very unfortunate for the downstairs unit. They're bad bathroom will look straight onto the stairs. So anyone going up will look straight into their bathroom. The upstairs unit's got more windows though. So that's lucky. I mean, you know, you win some, you lose some. Okay, here's something I'm struggling with. And I guess I could move the doors a little bit to sort of adjust this problem, but I would like to have some pretty decent sized windows in the front, but I'm also aware that this is the front of the whole building and it's how people get to their apartments. So they're gonna walk straight past these windows, you know? Like, like everyone's gonna see into them. So while I would like to have some really big windows in here, is it realistic? I still think I'd like it better if the thing was white. I want the door to be white. I'm okay, I can't, I'm sorry. Well, it's realistic. It's not that bad, it's fine. And there's actually a really big living room in here. This is a nice sized apartment. Right now I'm just copying the floor plan down to the other ones. The best windows in the whole apartment are in the kids' bedroom. <laughs> that 
that doesn't make any sense. Okay, what if we did it like this? Unfortunately, it is objectively better on one side than the other. So these units will get better windows, but maybe that's okay. A couple extra windows because you have a really weird view. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. Maybe that's better to do the windows like that. Oh, that looks way cooler. Okay, in the units themselves, I would like to use this wood floor that everyone hates when I use. <laughs> I'm actually gonna mark off where the kitchen goes too, just for sake of like making it easier to see. And then you could always change that if you don't wanna have tile in your kitchen. I might put tile in my kitchen. I might like that. Why does it glitch like that? Why, why? Look at the corner. <sighs> Sometimes this game makes me sad. I don't think I can do anything about that either. I think it's just gonna be like that. I've decided I might put a window in the kitchen. I think it's important to me. It looks kind of weird from the outside. <laughs> And this is like technically the front of the lot as well. I might have to move her before I upload it to the gallery because that looks a bit silly. I mean, it doesn't have to be centered with the wall, at least not on the inside. We could center it with the wall on the outside intentionally. It's a pretty big kitchen. It's a nice touch. Oh, I want to have a dining table. <laughs> but this apartment is like a little bit too small. Well, we could manage it. But like, is it worth it to stick a table in the corner like that? Probably not. I feel like the other layout was better. And it does have dining. Like there's the, the bar stools. You can't have it all. Sometimes you have to make sacrifices. <laughs> We're thinking very simple bathroom. Don't want it to be too busy. Do you know what? Part of me almost wants- this is maybe a bad idea, so don't- don't um, count me out too soon, but part of me wants to do it like this and have a bigger bathroom. I know there's now like a lot of hallway space, but I feel like the kitchen being smaller is actually good for the kitchen. And there's only one bathroom in the apartment, so maybe it would be nice to have a big one. I think that's kind of nice. And then you have a tub too. Okay, so part of why I don't want to furnish the other apartments right now is because I know that if you want to play in this apartment, the other ones being furnished will be extremely annoying. I'm actually doing this to protect you. <laughs> because if the other apartments are furnished, your sims are gonna be like, oh, I need to pee. Let me walk to the downstairs apartment and use their bathroom. And you can always lock the door so they can't get in there and stuff, but I'll leave them empty for now. And then if you wanna play with them, you can add to them. <laughs> that can be your choice. I may have managed to fit a dining table. <laughs> huh. Still very unsure what color scheme I'm going for. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, before I forget, I'm gonna put a couple trash cans down here, like shared by the building kind of trash cans. And there's not actually wall mailboxes in the base game. There might be some in debug, but since I'm not certain if they work, I'm just gonna put like a mailbox for the building down. I'll put it somewhere. I need to figure out where still, but I think we'll just have like everybody share one because we know the game functions like that. So we won't mess with it too much. Uh, I think that concrete will be fine, right? Oh, I feel like I'm all over the place with this build. I'm like jumping around doing all these sort of different things. I just want to make sure it looks nice, <laughs> but then also isn't too busy. I mean, like so much to worry about. We could probably put fake parking spots down if we wanted to put some debug cars. That wasn't my original plan, but I guess the alternative is to have some like communal space down there, which would also be nice, but like, what would it be? Show hidden objects. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not show live edit objects. We're all about pretending in The Sims 4, you know? Pretending you can build an apartment building. Pretending you can have a parking spot. Pretending you can drive a car. Oh, <laughs> that was a little bit big. That one's so small. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to put like a, a stopper or something behind these to make them look more like they're actually parking spots. This is like a little wooden plank from Debug, so it's probably not what we're looking for. <laughs> oh no, those are really- no, 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 no. It was not my intention to have red, white, and blue cars here. I just want to have three different cars. Okay, but those those look like parking spots, right? Oh, I kind of like that actually. I'm gonna make them like a little bit wonky, like not, not perfectly straight. Oh, I think that's cute. Do I want to do that? No, I don't think so. We can put a tree. When you look at this place from the gallery, it's gonna look so stupid. <laughs> it's okay, it's fine. I'm gonna use these little daisies places just to get something more interesting around, you know? Something cute. And where does the mailbox go? <laughs> um, we can put the mail box by the tree and for some reason everyone in the whole building gets their mail all to the exact same place. <laughs> okay, not kidding though, I do like this. I'm gonna put ceiling fans on the porches. Okay, that's enough on the exterior. We got 
gotta finish the inside. I'm trying to balance not spending that much money, but also not having a budget and just putting whatever I want, which is probably a little bit impractical. But you know what? I always put paper towels right next to the stove. Maybe that's not a good idea either. Maybe that's impractical. Would they catch on fire? I don't know. I keep my paper towels under the sink. To be fair, I don't really use paper towels. I, I have like cloth towels that I use, but I have some paper towels for emergencies, so I don't like keep them out because I don't use them. I use like towels you can wash and reuse, but they'd probably be fine next to it. They wouldn't catch on fire. If they fell onto the hot stove, then maybe we're talking, but just next to it is fine. I wish we had more swatches of this painting because I want like a big long painting to put behind the sofa, but we don't really have anything that's like what I want in the base game. We have a couple things, but that's not really what I'm looking for. And when you size these up, it's almost like a little bit too big. <laughs> I mean, it's a possibility, but also do I center it on the wall? I think I'll center it on the wall. Okay, onto the kid's bedroom. I'm thinking I kind of want to use a wallpaper. Unfortunately, a lot of these are very much more bold than I want them to be. <laughs> Maybe I'll use that. Okay, I feel like this might work for us. There's potential here. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but it might work. That's not like a light enough pink is the problem. <sighs> The other pink rugs are not really speaking to me. Like this one is too munch color. This one's too black. Oh, that's more of the right pink. Oh, that's actually perfect. Cause then we could use this rug in a couple colors like gray and white. That might work. Backpack, maybe some books and a tissue box. Oh, it's so cute. This sim actually has a really cute room. I'm kind of jealous. I feel like it's a good medium between a kid's room and a teen's room as well. Like it could easily work as both if you needed it to. Okay, and the parents' room, I feel like they deserve a slightly nicer bed, <laughs> except I don't like that one. So, and this one's like too nice. I don't want it to be black. <laughs> I don't want a black bed frame. Hmm, I'm thinking about it. This is not what I wanted it to look like. <laughs> I might actually swap this so the bed is facing the door. That's not really the vibes that I'm going for. I feel like that was the best one. The rugs don't match either. <laughs> this is pitiful. I think it could be nice to have another desk, even just from a practical sense, like desks are really useful in this game. So an extra one, not gonna hurt. Okay, then on the patio, I wanna do a couple things. I think number one, I wanna make sure we have like a couple little planter boxes cause it would be cute. Maybe a little patio table. Is it impractical to have a grill? I mean, you know your Sims are gonna use this thing constantly. So it might be annoying, but it's also kind of fun. And maybe an easel then? Oh, I kind of like that. I think that's actually really nice. Oh, okay, I, I like this. I think that's very realistic as well. Well, hey, there's an apartment building in the Sims 4 base game. Okay. Okay, it's ugly on the gallery, but we knew that was gonna happen. I called it the New Crest Apartments and it's up if you wanna download it. It costs 61,000, so it's kind of expensive if your Sims are gonna live here, but you'd probably cheat to buy this place anyway. And it's fun because you could have like a multi-family sort of story happening here if you wanted to. And if you wanted to, you could like steal some space from an apartment next door to have another bedroom or something, you know? Like that's the beauty of it. <laughs> And again, it's not the prettiest building, but I was trying to match the ones in Evergreen Harbor, so it's fine. But I think on that note, I'm gonna go. I'll link the video I made renovating the Evergreen Harbor one that inspired this down below. Hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. Do you know what? I have my Pietro plushie behind me on my chair and he looks kind of dead. I really should like move him so he's sitting up straight, but I keep forgetting. And now he's just laying there and has been for probably a couple weeks.